Gang, what's good? I haven't been on YouTube in a very long time. I haven't been behind the camera, well, in front of the camera for a long time. But I've been doing a lot of behind of the camera things. So that's one of the reasons I haven't been on YouTube for a while. I still been cutting hair, I'm still a barber, still do all that stuff, but now I'm also a professional photographer. I actually go to school for it now. I'm learning a lot, I've been doing photo shoots. I'm gonna show you guys some images. They're gonna be popping up somewhere around here, like maybe on my head or something, but they will be around. You'll be able to see some of the images that I've been doing. Um, what I'm here today, well, you know, one of the reasons that I'm here today is because it's Corona. You know, Corona out here just, whacking everybody left and right and I ain't, I ain't trying to be a part of it. I've been stuck in the house I'm an introverted person so it, it doesn't really bother me I'm actually enjoying my time being home and look I got back to get got back on YouTube so you know it's, it's, it's doing some positive things for me but I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to get back to doing some YouTube things because I really put myself in a box as far as like YouTube because I really just wanted it to always be about barbering barbering this barbering that barbering that and I talked to one of my friends shout out to lipstick lips go check out her her YouTube channel if you get a chance she talked to me about it and was just like yo you don't have to just be about barbering whatever you do is your channel you can put whatever you want so you guys will start seeing some stuff about photography me doing some photo shoots or talking about camera lenses or whatever you start seeing some more stuff about photography on this YouTube channel but it's still gonna be trade cuts, baby. Yeah, you know I mean, still gonna still gonna be doing our thing. Still gonna be some tutorials or AMSR, ASMR videos, whatever y'all want. They'll they'll still be here. There really won't be too many changes. That's just gonna be the main thing. It's just me adding some photography stuff to my YouTube channel. So um, how I'm gonna blend those two things together, and I'm actually gonna do that today. I'm gonna talk to you guys about improving your pictures of your haircuts for social media like I go on some barbers pages and their pictures are just like mediocre and I'm not saying that the haircuts are bad I'm saying the quality of the pictures are bad so I want to talk to you guys about give you guys some tips on how to improve those images and make them look more professional so when people come to your page they're like hey this guy got some nice pictures you know I want I want to see what his hair what his hand is actually like and this the thing is a lot of people aren't bad barbers they just have bad images on their hair on their pages and I'm going to talk about the pros of cell phone pros and cons of cell phones and actually having a camera when it comes to taking pictures um, in the barbershop for your haircuts and I'm going to give you some tips on how to improve both of those so let's talk about cell phone images. Cell, taking pictures with the cell phone, you know, is really popular right now. The pictures can go straight to, to Instagram and Facebook, and you can send them real fast because the phone is right there in your hand. It's something small, you just pull it out. And that's, that's mostly all the, pro, the pros for, for taking pictures with a cell phone. It's, it's super quick. The images can go straight to social media. You can just take it out, pop, go straight to Instagram, straight to Facebook, straight to your book seat, whatever you want to, wherever you want the pictures to go, it can go instantly there. Also, it's not as dramatic. Like if you take a camera out, a big camera, and you take the lens and put it in somebody's face, you're doing all of this extra stuff with the camera. It's kind of like very dramatic. And sometimes it can make people feel uncomfortable. And sometimes like for me, it's uncomfortable doing it in the shot because it's like super dramatic. Everybody looking at you like, hey, you know, this guy taking up this big ass camera again. It's like sometimes it's just too much. So sometimes having a cell phone is a lot more like discreet. You can just take the image and be done with it. So those are some of the pros about it. Some of the cons is that the images don't look always the best with a cell phone. And I don't know if it's the photographer or it's actually the phone. So sometimes it can be both. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes the lighting in a barbershop isn't as good. And cell phone, cell phone images do not do well in low light. And that's one of the things that I have to say is a con about a cell phone is that if the lighting in the shop isn't good, your image is going to be trash. It's going to look really grainy. Sometimes it'll even look blurry and it may be out of focus because the camera sensors aren't as good as cell phone as regular camera sensors. So that's some of the cons. Also, one of the cons is that new, newer cell phones, like some of the iPhone, I think the iPhone 11, uh, the Samsung phone, like they have this thing where they can blur the background. Now what they're trying to do is they're trying to emulate an actual um, DSLR camera 
what they can do and blur the background with but the thing is they black they blur the background with the science of the lens and not so much of the uh, actual programming inside the camera it's more so of the programming inside the lens that blurs the background whereas those cell phones they simulate the background so whatever that focal point is on the camera cell phone whatever the focus is on that cell phone this the computers um, I mean the cell phones computer is going to read that and say okay this is the subject and I'm going to blur everything out around that subject but sometimes if you are a person that has a keen eye for photos you can look at that image and say oh yeah that was fake that was done with a cell phone and it doesn't look as good so that's those are my things about taking cell phone pictures with cell phones and me personally I hate taking pictures of haircuts with a cell phone it's just like so much missing and it, it makes my, my, my good haircuts look kind of bad, and I hate that. So I prefer to actually use a regular camera. So let's talk about the pros and cons of a regular camera. So first off, it's a, it's a camera. It's made to take pictures. It's not getting on the internet. It's not making some phone calls. It's not taking sending text messages. It's a camera. It's made for taking images. So it's going to give you the best image possible. It's not going to be you know one of these simulated images is going to be an actual picture what it was made to do also you have a lot more control over the lighting you have a lot more control over um, what your image is going to look like you can control a lot more things and that's let me let me back up a little bit that's one thing a cell phone does really well a cell phone will give you great images automatically so you don't have to set everything up manually and cameras don't do that very well Cameras have an automatic setting, but sometimes it'll automatically pop the flash up. Sometimes it'll automatically like make the image too dark. You don't necessarily get out of the image what you want when you use a camera in automatic. But when you use a cell phone, a cell phone is going to compute everything really, really well in your image and give you the best image possible um, through the computer and the cell phone. And I'm, I'm not crapping on, I'm not shitting on cell phones at all. I like the cell phone picture for like taking pictures of my daughter real quick or something but and they're good for selfies yeah they're good for selfies shoot if you have to tell you tell, give your phone to your client and tell them yo pop a couple pics of this real quick so i can throw it on instagram but that's that would be kind of weird I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a pro so i'm a pro camera guy so i prefer to take pictures with the camera for one it's going to give you that nice blurry background like it's not going to be done with a computer it's going to be done with the lens and since it's done with the lens, it's not going to be simulated, so it's going to look a lot more professional. They're going to look more realistic. So it's going to, instead of the images looking flat, they're going to have a lot more depth to them where you can almost, it almost seems like you can like touch the picture and touch the person. And that's what a lot of people look for. They want to have that image that looks really professional, real realistic, because cell phones don't really give you that. Now some of the cons about using a camera is that for one, it's super dramatic. And sometimes it can make people really uncomfortable. And you actually have to like really ask people like, oh, do you mind if I take a couple pictures? Opposed to when you have the cell phone, it's kind of like click, click. It's normal, it's like every day. But people don't always have a camera with the lens sticking out on it and having it like popping off in their face. It's kind of awkward. And then sometimes it can make people feel like a little uncomfortable. So that's one of the cons about it is that sometimes it makes people very uncomfortable. Another con is that the images do not go straight to Instagram or straight to social media. You have to take the memory card out. You have to take the memory card out, put it in your computer, or buy an adapter. They have adapters for cell phones where you can actually put the images from the camera straight to your cell phone. Some cameras like this one has a Wi-Fi built into it or Bluetooth built into it where the images do go straight to your cell phone. But it's not as it's not as easy as still just taking a picture uploading it right to Instagram. You have to like take this out. Sometimes you might want to edit the picture and then put it on Instagram. So it's like an extra step to uh, get your pictures on social media. Do I think it's worth it? Worth it? I absolutely do think that it's worth it to use a camera and go through those extra, extra steps to put the images on social media because they look a whole lot better and it's going to draw more of an audience to your pictures. So I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to improve your images whether or not you're taking them with a cell phone or you're taking them with a camera. And one of the main things is lighting. Cameras need light. So to us, light, certain things might seem bright, but to a camera, it's going to be dark. So our eyes don't read light how cameras read light. The lower light that you have, the harder the camera has to work to get you a better image. 
So you ever take like a picture at in the dark with your cell phone and it looks like super grainy and it doesn't really look good, it looks flat? That's because the camera is pushing all the sensors to the best that it can to get that image out. And it'll work the same way with a regular camera. A regular camera needs good light. If you had really good lighting on your subject, when you took a picture with your cell phone, like really, really good lighting, it would look almost, almost like, like, like that, like that much. It would look that much close to a cell phone, to an actual camera. But still gonna be some things missing. But if you have good lighting, it's gonna make all, all the difference. Preparing your client. So before you take an image, a picture of your client, you want to make sure that they have all the duct, all the extra hair off of their forehead. You want to make sure that their hair is shining if they have waves. You want to make sure that if their hair is styled, there's no little hair sticking up because everything is going to show when you take that picture, especially if you're taking it with a camera. Cameras don't have any filters. They are going to show every flaw. So the best thing to do is not to take one way up in their face, try to have it a little bit farther back so that it's not catching every little bump and every little pore on their skin because it's going to, it's not like a cell phone. A cell phone is going to show every, I mean, a camera is going to show every mistake. The cell phone is going to filter some of those things out because it doesn't have as strong of a sensor. That camera is going to pick every little thing up. So sometimes you want to prepare your client, even if you take the cape off of them in the next trip, take that off sometimes, get all the extra hair off of them, and even recape them if you have to. Or what I like to do is I like to take my clients outside and I'll show you right here, the pictures will probably start popping up. I'll take the picture and I'll take them outside and I'll have them pose outside because the lighting outside the shop is really, is a lot better than the lighting inside the shop. Some, so some shops are lit really, really, really well and some aren't. One of the main things that I like to look for is soft light. So if it's a cloudy day, I'll probably take a lot more of my pictures on cloudy days because the light is a lot softer and it's not as harsh and it's not gonna give them, for one, that like beaming light of shining right off their head. Or if they have like deep eyes, they won't have those weird shadows on their eyes. So avoid taking pictures of haircuts in direct lighting. Direct harsh light is not gonna look good on your photos. Also, what I like to tell my clients to do, for some reason it just works really well, is to turn their head to the side and down. You can't fail with this pose. Remember, side, down. This this pose is the best pose. Like, even this up. When they got a good haircut, for some reason, that one just looked real good. I promise you, that, hair, that pose will not let you down. Eye level. You want to have the picture almost at eye level. If you're taking it from lower, it's not gonna look good. If you're taking the pictures from above them, it's not gonna look good. Like if you're a barber and you're taking a picture like this of your client, it's not gonna look good. I promise you it's not gonna look good. Step back a little bit, get eye level, and then take the picture. And sometimes even turning your cell phone to the side a little bit helps make a little bit more of a dramatic image and it'll make the picture look more attractive. So those are just some of the tips that I have. Make sure you're cleaning the client off, preparing them for the picture, styling them right before you take the shot. Um, standing farther back a little bit will also help. Um, lighting is really good. Make sure you have really good lighting. Choose the camera over the phone. You can change the lenses on them. Different lenses give you different effects. Some lenses are a lot better. Some lenses are a lot worse. Like this is one of my better lens. It gives me a nice blurry background. Um, it has a, gives my images a really, really professional look, and it lets in a lot of light. So this is one of the cameras that I use a lot for shooting my professional photos and when I'm taking pictures of my haircuts. So if you can, invest in some good lenses if you're going to invest in a camera. Cameras are great, great investments if you're a barber. I prefer to use a camera over a cell phone. You don't have to buy no $800, $400 camera you can find a nice good camera that takes nice pictures for like maybe three hundred dollars and if you really want to start getting into those like professional looking images you definitely going to have to spend about five hundred dollars a camera that i recommend is the canon uh, t6i that's actually what i'm recording on right now was the first camera that i got is the camera that i do my youtube videos with it's a really good camera, entry level. You could probably get one off of eBay, maybe for like $400 to $500 right now. And if you can afford it, if you wanna save up, 
get yourself a nice camera. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about taking pictures or if you feel like there's anything that I missed or if there's any more tips that you want, hit me up in the comment section below or you can hit me up on Instagram at Trey Cuts with a Z and an underscore at the end. I always answer my DMs. People still DM me for my old videos. I always respond to the comments in the comment section. Unless you're saying something like crazy. If you're saying something crazy, I'm just completely ignore you. But if you have a real question about taking pictures of your haircuts or you need like any suggestions about what to do to improve, just hit me up. I'll give you the best advice that I can. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, share, comment, subscribe, peace, and uh, make sure y'all wash y'all hands.